Churg-Strauss disease is another type of vasculitis. This vasculitis affects the small blood vessels. And vasculitis is vessel inflammation, which can lead to many different tissues being damaged. Churg-Strauss shares a lot of common damage to different organs as other vasculitides. So for example, like Wegener granulomatosis, you might see sinusitis or kidney issues or lung issues as well. Lung tissues may be damaged. And similar to polyarteritis nodosa, you might have intestinal issues, intestinal damage, skin damage, nerve damage, like in the nerves of your feet, or even heart damage as well. So it shares a lot of different organs with some of the medium and small vessel vasculitides. But there's a couple key takeaways from Churg-Strauss disease that you can focus on. A lot of patients are first misdiagnosed with an allergy. They may have runny nose, coughing, sneezing, and these skin symptoms may be thought to be an allergic rash. Patients are also misdiagnosed with asthma very often. Now, what's common in both allergy and asthma? You have one common blood cell type that's seen in allergic reactions. These are eosinophils. Eosinophils are white blood cells that react to allergies. Actually, under a microscope and with staining, they kind of appear a pinkish color. Eosinophilia should normally be very low in the blood. However, with Churg-Strauss, we see very high levels of eosinophils. So with damage to multiple organs, an allergy and asthma-like symptoms, along with an increased amount of eosinophils in the blood, this distinguishes Churg-Strauss from all the other vasculitides. And lastly, a blood test that you can perform is P-ANCA. ANCA stands for Anti-Neutrophilic Cytoplasmic Antibody. They're type of antibodies that are seen in autoimmune diseases. With autoimmune diseases, you have white blood cells releasing a lot of chemicals from inside of them. Some of these white blood cells are neutrophils. And to create these chemicals that they're releasing, they draw together components from their cytoplasm. And with a large release of these immune peptides, these molecules, I can't stress enough how many dots I'm making here, your body gets confused and creates antibodies against these molecules from the cytoplasm of neutrophils. And so these are ANCAs, anti-neutrophilic cytoplasmic antibodies. And they can be elevated in autoimmune diseases. And of course, there isn't just one type of cytoplasmic protein or molecule. There are different types. And so this P stands for one of the different types of ANCAs that you see. So once you find P ANCAs in the patient's blood, you can take a slice of tissue from one of these areas that are affected, maybe a nerve or somewhere that's not invasive to get to, and the slice of tissue is known as a biopsy. A biopsy you look at under the microscope in Churg-Strauss disease will show a formation of granulomas. This should be a very similar thing that you've seen in other vasculitides. The immune system forms a protective barrier around something that it sees as foreign. And so this is a granuloma. So in Churg-Strauss disease, you see allergy, asthma, eosinophils. You get a blood test for a P-ANCA and see that's elevated. And then you can do a biopsy and find granulomas.